What is China? The People's Republic of China, commonly known as China, is located in East Asia. It borders 14 nations more than any other country in the world. It is the most populous state in the world with over 1.3 billion citizens, while the world population is 6.8 billion, that means out of every 5 people in the world, one is Chinese. China is made up of 56 distinct ethnic groups with 10 Chinese making up 92% of its whole population. China is a single party state governed by the Communist Party of China, whose power is enshrined in Chinese constitution. Though China is officially an atheist country, its religious roots lie within Confucianism, Buddhism and Taoism. And from these both social and moral values are derived. There are also a significant number of Chinese Muslims who arrived to the Silk Road trade route and still retain their own distinct culture. History China is one of the world's oldest civilizations, dating back more than five millennia and was ruled by successive dynasties until 1912. During this time, many great discoveries in the fields of science and technology were made, including the inventions of printing, paper, gunpowder and the compass. This period also saw the construction of many landmarks, such as the Great Wall, which stretches over 4,000 miles, equals to 30 written travels from London to Paris. After a period of foreign occupation and civil war, the Communist Party of China, led by Mao, gained the control of mainland China in 1949 and established the People's Republic of China. The modern China of today is as much shaped by its past as it is rapidly abandoning old ways and looking to the future. While many of its big cities are comparable to any in the West, the underlying culture is still vastly different. Traveling outside large urban areas also highlights the growing disparity between rich and poor. Language Chinese is the most widely spoken language in the world as well as one of the most impalatable for foreigners. There are many regional dialects of Chinese, although the most widely spoken is Mandarin and Cantonese. Chinese characters evolved over time from earlier forms of hieroglyphs. Chinese contains over 40,000 characters, but a well-educated person can recognize around 6,000 characters. Some 3,000 are required to read a newspaper. Chinese Canada Chinese zodiac is a scheme that relates each year to an animal. This is the year rabbit. Chinese New Year is the most important of the traditional Chinese holidays. Windows and doors will be decorated with red color paper cuts and a couplet with popular themes of happiness, wealth and longevity. On the eve of Chinese New Year, supper is a feast with families. The family will end the night with firecrackers. Early the next morning, children will meet their parents by wishing them a healthy and happy New Year and receive money in red paper envelopes. Chinese people love red color, which symbolizes prosperity and good luck. The period around Chinese New Year is also the time of the largest human migration, when between 150 and 200 million migrant workers in China bring home their earnings and go to have reunion dinner with their families on Chinese New Year's Eve. Youth Most married couples in China are subject to the one-child policy, which was introduced in 1979 to curb massive population growth. It is believed to have prevented more than 300 million births since then. Another consequence of the policy has been the emergence of so-called little emperors. A generation of self-centered consumers has developed. While the Chinese education system has rapidly developed, there remains a heavy emphasis on passing exams. The upshot of this is that exams dictate curriculum, while Chinese students can master and memorize incredible amounts of knowledge and information. They often lack the ability to critically think, develop their own opinions, and engage in creative activities. Due to the propensity for preferring sons over daughters, China is facing a large population imbalance with currently around 120 boys born for every 100 girls. By 2020, there will be 30 million more men than women. Economy Since economic opening up and reform policy began in 1978, China's economy has grown 90 times bigger and is the fastest growing major economy in the world. China's annual average GDP growth is predicted to be 9.5% for the period of 2011 to 2015. It is the world's largest exporter and the second largest importer of goods. It is also now the world's second biggest consumer of luxury goods. It now has the world's second largest GDP at about 6 trillion US dollars, 40% of the United States. Although its per capita income of 4300 US dollars is still low and puts China behind roughly 100 countries, China's growth has been uneven when comparing different geographic regions and the rural and urban areas. Development has also been mainly concentrated in the eastern coastal regions, while the remainder of the country are left behind. In the past decade, China's cities expanded at an average rate of 10% annually, a scale unprecedented in human history. China is a country crazy for skyscrapers to show its economic booming. More than 200 skyscrapers are being built here now. 
For the next three years, there will be one skyscraper completed every five days in China, which will make the total 800 in five years' time, four times as many in the States. China is the world factory. One out of every three household appliances, three toys, two pairs of shoes, two shirts are made in China. It has now become the world's largest energy consumer, but relies on coal to supply about 70% of its energy needs. Leading Chinese environmental campaigners have warned that water pollution is one of the most serious threats facing China now. Yet with 34.6 billion US dollars invested in clean technology in 2009, China is the world's leading investor in renewable energy technologies. China produces more wind turbines and solar panels than each year than any other country in the world. Food being such a large and ethnically diverse country, each region has its own local specialities which the Chinese are often keen to try and introduce to others. Generally, you will find hot and spicy food in the west and the central China, and the cooler food in the south and the north. A Chinese dining table is usually round, allowing everyone to engage equally in conversation. It will be set empty bowls, plates, and chopsticks for each person. Food dishes are placed into the center of the table to be shared between everyone. Don't be put off if you see people spitting bowls or seeds onto the plate. This is perfectly normal. Contrary to what you might find in your local Chinatown, Chinese food is generally healthy and often beautifully presented. Texture, flavor, color and aroma are key considerations for all Chinese cooks, even above nutrition contents. Chinese dining is about showing respect and hospitality for the guests and is often used as an extension of the boardroom. Heavy drinking is often part of doing business and it is expected that you will keep up with the others. If you do not want to drink alcohol, make it clear before you start. Core Concept Face Mints The concept of face can be loosely described as someone's social status or reputation in the eyes of others. Throughout the Chinese person's life, you must